Morning, everyone. Rob is off tonight. We are all in mourning tonight, trying to come to grips with what happened inside a Hamilton home this morning. Firefighter Patrick Walterman's job was to sacrifice his own safety for the safety of others. And today, the 28-year-old newlywed gave his life doing just that. Now, the fire that claimed his life started just after 1 o'clock this morning. Flames were shooting from the house on Pater Avenue in Hamilton when crews got there. Patrick Walterman did what any firefighter would do. He ran into the burning home. He was trying to rescue an elderly couple that dispatch said might be inside. But it turns out there wasn't anyone in there. And then there was a May Day call. Shortly after the initial attack, there was a catastrophic event and firefighter Walterman fell through the floor into the basement. Through the courageous efforts of the Hampton firefighters on the scene, firefighter Walterman was rescued from the building and transported to Fort Hampton Hughes Hospital. There, tragically, he died from his injuries. This afternoon, firefighter Walterman's body received an escort from the hospital to a funeral home in College Hill. And following tradition, a Hamilton firefighter honor guard will watch over his body until he is laid to rest. As the day went on, we started to learn more about Patrick Walterman, about his career, and about his life outside the fire community. Brad Underwood talked to a man who knew him better than most, his high school football coach. He's live in College Hill now with the story. Brad? Well, good evening, Cammie. We did learn this afternoon that Walterman was recently married and that he joined the Hamilton Fire Department earlier this year. But we talked with those who worked with him and those who knew him as he was growing up, and they said the same thing. He was a guy you wanted on your side. He would always do the right thing, and he would stick up for people, and he was always willing to do more to help. The initial call to Pater Avenue, possible elderly occupants in a burning home. 28-year-old Patrick Walter was one of the firefighters who went inside for the rescue. Moments later, the Mayday call went out. Well, you know, at first it didn't hit home because I thought he was at Coleraine Township the last I talked to him. And uh, um, uh, so they said Patrick Walterman. I was driving on uh, 75 South and, uh, and they said Patrick Walterman. I said, well, I hope that's not the Patrick Walterman. And then, then they mentioned that he was a Roger Bacon grad and uh, then it kind of hit home. Dan Starkey was Walterman's football coach at Roger Bacon. He remembers Walterman as a great kid, excellent student. Before joining Hamilton's fire department, Walterman was a firefighter in Fairfield for a year and spent six years with the Coleraine Township Fire Department. There, he received excellent reviews, described as a hard worker, and never missed a shift or called in sick. He, he was the same way at Roger Bacon. He was a type of student that something needed to be done and you, you needed somebody that you could count on to do it. You asked Patrick Walterman and, uh, and he would get it done for you. Before becoming a firefighter, Walterman spent nearly every summer as a kid and young adult at the North Hills Swim Club, holding jobs at the snack bar, lifeguard, and even assistant manager. Members of the swim board also remember Patrick as the guy you could always count on. He would do the dirty jobs and not complain about it. You know, every time I ran into him after I graduated, which I probably did seven or eight times, and, uh, and every time I did it was... Uh, a really neat thing just to see him and talk to him and uh, so you know my thoughts and prayers go out to his family and his friends because I know this is gonna be very tough on them. Now, Walterman would have turned 29 next month. Earlier today the city of Cincinnati announced that all flags at Cincinnati fire stations would remain at half staff until sundown of Walterman's funeral. Reporting live tonight in College Hill. Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Cammie. Such a sad story. Brad, thank you.